dig myself out of that hole by working those three jobs. And even after I started the business, it took me three more years to finally dig completely out of that hole just to get back to zero. And I think that most people are not willing to start because they realize that there's a lot of there's a lot of work to get to zero. If zero is average, is the way I think about it. Think about your fitness journey, you're starting your business or your debt that you're trying to take care of. You got to put in a lot of work just to get to zero, and that doesn't sound exciting. You at think all. that you're in a bad situation. You think that's something uh, that you can't handle. But God said, "No, all things work together for my good. I'm going to make it work for your good, sis. So it's all right. Just relax." That's so good. That's so good. You know, we're doing so many things and serving so many roles at the same time that oftentimes we can get out of whack. And so I think it's really important for us to continually. I think the New Year is all, honestly a good time to do that. Is to reevaluate where you are. Does your goal list exclude your family and personal life? Because I think looking at your goal list, if you've made one for the new year, is really telling. I've sat in mediocrity, but I've also had those times where it's like you can't sit here long because you're not serving yourself and you're not serving others. Because if they see you, because people have seen the greatness within you, you have to actually step up and actually give that greatness out to the world. What did God say? God loves my children more than me. And so this is really free to us up to make like decisions that might seem like okay nomadic. We're kind of like having a little bit. Is that really the best for our kids? And I'm like, okay, well, you know, we're following God. We're being obedient, and He loves our children more than us. So you know, just like you were saying, like, is it right? Is it wrong? Well, your God loves your children more than you do, and He has the best, like He has great plans for them. It's, it's it's relational too, because you know, in a simplistic way, we worship God. King Jesus, and then we let the Holy Spirit fill us full of His wisdom, and we rely on His Word to make sure. Because I do tell people, like, oh, I've had the devil whisper in my ear many times, thinking it's the Holy Spirit, and then I can't back it up with Scripture. Guess what? It wasn't God talking. He got back it with Scripture. Beyond honored to do what I do, and uh, I often say He should not have picked me. And I say that because I want women to know that no matter what your past is, when he calls, he qualifies. Every person, every person that I had, you know, a relationship with my secretary to my stylist was talking about this uh, this Jesus. But what I like to say is you have to speak louder than the voices in your head. Because, and that's why I love going back to the word, because the word is full of positive affirmations that show us who we are and who, whose we are and who we are. So when we start to believe who we really are, then we can speak louder than those little voices that are trying to stop us. Because the voices are always going to be there. Nothing can compare. Nothing on this earth can compare to what God has in store for you. Not even your own ideas and imaginations, your dreams. You know, God has the best of the best. And this is something that I've actually realized that I need to really realize. Because I understand that for myself, right? And I believe that wholeheartedly for everybody else, right? But in my heart, sometimes I'm like, what if I don't want that? Spoiler alert! You see my face and I didn't die. But that was the wake up call. That was the moment God was like, all right, you're trying to do this your way. I keep trying to get your attention, but you're not listening to me. So I got to be a little bit more forceful. Maybe this time you'll listen. And I did. That hit my heart because I walked out of that. And everybody who saw the record was like, how does a human not only survive this, walk away from it? Four humans walked away from it. All of which are in ministry now, by the way. I had not been to therapy. I probably would be ashamed to go to a therapist because in my head, you, right, when we understand this now, even though it's a lot more destigmatized, but the stigma was that there's something wrong with you, or for me, you're not Christian enough, you know, whatever the, the messaging was at that time. I'm really committed to the process. I know it sounds Christianese, but I think we have to learn to be committed to the process and to fall in love with the process. So whenever it, the promise does come, that we're able to sustain it and we're able to do it well, do it with excellence because we took the process seriously and we didn't despise the process. Oh, that's so good. That's Some of the best revelations I've ever had have been in those quiet spaces. Those quiet times where you're just asking the right questions. Um, I, I told you about the prayer journal um, and I need to get back to that. That's something that uh, I'm glad we're having this conversation because it's something that I do need to get back to. The Bible clearly teaches that the reason God put wealth on the earth is for his people. I can show anybody that in scripture without taking anything out of context. Because a, 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 
a text without a context, a pretext, and now you're making a document, right? So I can show people like so many ways from so many different directions. The purpose of wealth being on this earth is for God's people. Yeah. If, which he is, but let's just say if God is perfect and created a perfect plan, then that means he also perfectly accounted for our weakness, which is why he provided a savior who came to atone for not just our sins, for our inadequacies, our feelings of unworthiness, doubt. I, I think confidence is just something that you always have to embrace, but I think the stronger my faith became, the more confident I became, because you know there, there's something freeing in letting go of the fact that you have to be responsible for all of that. And so if I'm getting my confidence through him, then I don't really have to ever worry about, you know, feeling good enough to do this or brave enough to do that. Because I know the thing is I've been on this healing journey, and as I've been on this journey of things happening that I had no idea would ever happen to me, opportunities I had never imagined for myself, the biggest work we can do, and I think the biggest thing that God calls us to do is to keep showing up. Yeah, yeah that combination. See, there's a paradox, but how can you be humble and confident? How can you be humble and bold? And it all goes back to Jesus. You know, sometimes with speaking for me, it was something I hated until actually I started to follow Jesus. And then all of a sudden there was this ability or desire. But I've been doing it for a long time. And people sometimes come up and say, oh, well, you probably never get nervous. And I'm thinking, no, I feel nerves every single time. Yeah, you know? and so as I kind of came into this, it was really hard for me because with sexuality as a whole, I felt that that was what validated our relationship. That was what told me, um, you're wanted, you're seen, you're loved. And when that was not a part of our engagement and dating, I felt unseen and unloved. And I fought it. Like, I would literally pounce on him sometimes and just be like, I need you to validate me. And he was just like, I am. I am honoring you. You just don't understand that I'm honoring you. Under-promising is very hard because we naturally want to make everybody like us and oh we're good enough we can do this so look but then when we can't perform we can't follow through so as a mom too when we're telling our kids oh yeah we'll do that you know just to pacify them now yeah i'll take you here yeah i'll buy you this yeah i'll do that and then you can't follow through that's not good for anybody and that's really what matters the most